Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 2 of Resident Evil 4. I'm going to be diving right into each episode here, not really recapping the story because there's a lot to take in, so if you want to catch up with the story, I would recommend watching the previous episodes. So far, there's only one though, so you don't have too much to catch up on to be all up to speed. So with all that said, let's dive straight back into Resident Evil 4 and see where the story takes us next. Secondor 1, I've got that intel you requested on Louis Sarah. It seems he used to be a researcher for Umbrella. Ooh. Umbrella? I should have left him in that bag to rot. It's not a good sign, guys. <laughs> I'm sending you the details. Take a look, but Baby Eagle is your priority. Copy that. Making my way to the church. Condor 1, out. So it seems like Louis is involved in Umbrella in some way. Which is interesting. Like I said, guys, I don't remember the story of this game so long since I've played it. So it's all new to me once again, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, we've, of course, had a big run-in with that tall guy. The kind of crazy priest guy. But it seems like we were saved by Ada Wong, so... Oh. Wait, what is that sound? You a dog! Too, huh? Oh, man. we got to save him. Hopefully he doesn't attack us. Here you go, fella. Ooh, that looks raw. That looks tender. You okay? Take care of yourself, buddy. Maybe he'll help us out. I think there was like a dog in Resident Evil 4, the original, that does help you out if you uh, if you free it from a trap, I seem to remember. So maybe that will be the case here. Anyway, we've got the key now. We can actually go through this little gate that was previously locked. So let's use that. There we go. Leon using those muscles, putting them to good use. Oh man, we gotta go in a cave? Are you kidding me? Alright, let's just check. We of course wanna make sure we're collecting everything we can. So we've got lots of money to spend on the merchant shop, on all his delicious upgrades. Wait, are we coming back into the main town now? I think we've done a big loop. Yeah, I think this is, yeah, this is the town with the bell tower. Nice, but it's now evening. The sun is setting. So we're going to want to maybe use that key on this. Oh, okay. The tower's just collapsed. Great. I guess we're not getting through that way. Oh my God, what are those? Wow, we've got wolves. Guys, I'm getting my shotgun out. I'm running. Screw this. Boom. Oh my god. What the heck? These things are insane. What are these? Are these like dogs? I guess they were once, right? Now they're like hounds of a Baskervilles or something. Yeah, when they go down, you sometimes have to take them out with a knife, I think, on the ground. Great shot, Mike. Great shot. Nice. Okay. There we go. Wow, those things were savage. The teeth on them. Look at the chops on these things. Let's see if we can use the small key we collected on this. We can. Ah, oh, nice. So we can now open the drawer. We get a vintage compass. Maybe something we can sell to the merchant? I hope so. Okay, guys, I think maybe we're gonna have to like go through the house to get over this. So, we jump through the window here, yes. Okay, so far the plan is working. And we can drop down on the other side and get up there. But do we want to, or do we wanna be, we wanna be that side, don't we? Okay, I think maybe head through the house. Hopefully people aren't at home. Oh my god, that was close. That was very close. Oh. Okay, you surprised me. Now you die. Sorry about that. Not really though. Okay, hopefully. Yeah, we can get round. Just gotta deal with these guys. Die. 
Okay, I think he's down. Let's make our way through. Oh my god, this is weird. This is where they have their sermon. I'm not gonna hang around for a sermon though. Oh my god, snake, what the heck? I thought I heard a snake, I was like, nah. Come here. Okay, we got him. A viper. What can we do with a viper? I hope I'm not poisoned now. So let's have a little check of this place. Oh my god, look at all the skulls. Why is there like mist all over the floor as well? And there's that guy again, the one that keeps grabbing us, the one that injected us. Still don't know his name. Never mind. Ooh, that is a big skull. Illuminandos 4-9. Sleep well and flourish, dear child. As your body grows, your mothers shall sew new small clothes. At seven quintal of wheat and half a bull a day, you have outgrown your pen. Flourish, dear child, for the sake of your brothers and sisters who cannot. Right, that's gone over my head. I'm not even gonna pretend that it hasn't. And look at this skull. This is like the skull of a giant or something. Like seriously, that's like a giant troll or something. <laughs> Let's give him that skull up. Oh, I what? Something I think you oh the merchant! Okay. Merchant tip for prudent choice. Sick of constantly running out of ammo? Well, I've got a treat for you. The bolt thrower is something else, mate. Its bolts can be retrieved and reused, so you can keep shooting forever. Also, don't forget to buy the bolt recipe to turn your extra knives into, well, bolts. Never worry about ammo again. And that's not all. You can affix the bolts with attachable mines, proximity explosives, to quickly turn the weapon into a powerful mine thrower. Shoot at an enemy to see them explode instantly, or at a surface to set a proximity mine. You'll lose the bolt, but it'll be worth it. Well, we saw the, the bolt gun in a previous episode in his store. I don't know if I have room to like store all these different guns currently though, so I might not get that right now, but maybe we'll get it in the future. Gun rhymes with fun for a reason. Welcome. All right. <laughs> Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to sell some stuff to you first. I'm going to sell this pendant. I'm going to sell the vintage compass. Ruby's I'm going to sell a couple no of these difference. sapphires and the, the emerald. So we'll That's sell the emerald archers. as well, and the snake. We'll sell the, uh, sell the snake. Sometimes I, it's hard for me to talk, because that guy just keeps nattering on as I'm trying to sell stuff. So here we go. Well 23,000. Now, I'm going to fully tune up my knife. There you are. And you the durability of the knife. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> oh, come back it might anytime. be good to, you know, do the weapons, but I kind of like the idea of having like a super powerful knife. <laughs> so we'll go with the knife for now, guys. Ooh, look at that. That's the church we needed to reach. Church. I made it. You did indeed, Leon. Time to have a look around, though. Always thoroughly check the environments. Oh, hello. Okay, man, you just... You just grabbed us, didn't you? Straight away, straight up. Okay, we're gonna need to heal. Let's have a look. Ooh. Actually... If we mix red and yellow and take this, we can increase our maximum health. Then just use this. And we've got more health than ever before. They're coming for us. You know what? Come over here. Now I'm going to cut you with my new knife. Look how powerful it is. Boom. That's a good knife. Although, I actually need to repair the knife. The knife's almost busted. We made it to the church. Damn it. Condor 1 to roost. The church is sealed up. And Baby Eagle? Negative. Nothing yet. But they sure do have this place locked up tight. I see. I can think of one reason they'd want to do so. Oh, she's here. That's for sure. I'll find a way in. Condor 1, out. Alright, we need to find a different way in. Maybe around the side here? 
Ooh. Hey, that was easy. We've got a map as well. Lakeside map. A pest from the outside has come for the girl. Lock her in the church and await orders from our Lord. Until then, keep the church door shut. The key will be in the cave on the other side of a lake. The monster will deal with the foolish intruder. Oh man, we gotta go into the lake. There's gonna be a monster lake. in the lake. Let's hope for no more surprises. I actually remember there is a surprise in the lake, guys. We've got a picture of Ashley here as well. It says, photo of Ashley, keep her locked in the church until the appointed time. Poor girl, we're gonna rescue her. We need another small key for that. I guess we go down the hatch then. doesn't feel entirely safe. Oh, can we... I thought we were sitting in the coffin then. Oh man, this bridge is rickety as hell. <laughs> it really is. Oh no. I'm gonna shoot him off the top. Maybe I'm not. Oh, we made him set fire to himself. That is cool. Okay, tell you what. We'll lure them over here and then just go boom. Blow them up. Set fire to myself a little bit there as well though. Sorry. I love the combat in this game. I'm just gonna say it again guys. So much fun. So much fun just like meleeing and parrying and you know, just in general, stabbing. No! Wow! Man, you could have set me on fire. Aren't you ever told not to play with fire? Got one of these as well. That's why you don't play with fire, ladies and gentlemen. It's back now. Oh, she fell off the top! Right, let's get the rifle out. Oh, God. That was very close. <laughs> Just in the nick of time there. We're using the really powerful guns now because I don't have any, like, weak ones. Hey, we got handgun ammo, finally. Nice, alright, let's press on. Going into the caves now. Need to disarm that. There we are. Which way? There's so many ways to go at all times, but I never know where, like, I don't want to lock myself out of the area, you know, before I fully explored. Ooh, what is this? Destroy the blue medallions part two. There's not one of these. Is there anyone who can destroy those blue medallions? The area is polluted by their presence, and I can't bear it. Request, destroy all blue medallions. Area, quarry, fish farm. You get four spinel for that. I'll give it a go. Good luck finding someone big enough to use this thing. Yeah, and we saw the giant skull as well, didn't we? So there's obviously some giants about. I vaguely remember that you fought giants in this game. Like these giant troll things, I think. It's so long since I've played it, so <laughs> I could be misremembering that. There's crows everywhere. Can I even shoot these guys? You can. They actually do give us stuff. Of course, we've got these dog things again. You know what? Nice. Okay. That wasn't great. Come on. He's down. Any more? Oh no. I can hear something. Is that a troll snoring from behind here? I think it is, it's going, <laughs> We'll leave him alone. If all of that noise didn't wake him up, then uh, he can sleep for anything. Only one way to go to keep going down here, I guess. So claustrophobic. What's this? See, we need another one of these. It's another one of these with a strange lock, the insignia on it. So we need to obviously fashion a key that can be used in most places. 
Is this a merchant? I see the blue torches signify the merchant, right? Or maybe they don't. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, so whenever we see these kind of blue torches, it means the merchant is nearby. I have something I think you like. All right, what do you have? Merchant tip, get cash back. Should I do it in the merchant's voice? Instead of letting those unused guns collect dust, why not sell them and spend the extra cash to upgrade a weapon you do use? When you sell a weapon you tuned up, you'll get almost all the expenses you put into it back. There's no catch, mate. We're just rooting for you. There you go. I think I'm gonna have to stop doing his voice soon, though, guys, because my voice is a bit knackered at the moment. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Very nice. Well, first I'm gonna see what I can sell to you. <laughs> I knew you were a go-getter. We need to repair our knife first Could and foremost. New? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to upgrade on the next turn, guys. We can't really afford any of these upgrades now that I've repaired the knife. I still have some. But new the knife was kind of a necessity trap. to repair because I use it all the time. Wait, where does this go? We've got an elevator. Very fancy. Ooh. Welcome, what the heck? I believe this is your first time having a go in target practice. There's only one rule. Shoot the targets as they pop up. Simple enough, am I right? Yeah. I love the merchant, he's got such a good personality. Targets don't just stick around forever, eh? Don't let the small fry distract you from the big fish. Alright, I guess we give it a go. So we can do it with a rifle, a pistol, or a rifle and a pistol. I'll just go with 1A for now. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, do we want to shoot the sailors? Or just... Nice. I don't think we want to shoot the sailors, do we? We want to shoot the pirates, right? Reload. Reload. Go, go, go. I remember I did well on the Dead Space one of these, so hopefully we do well on the uh, target practice on this game. That's the stuff. Yeah. Oh, God. Thanks. Oh, oops. Sorry. I'll have to you for that, I'm I know, yeah. Don't blame you. Oh no. We're doing alright, guys. How did we do? Hey, we got an A rank. Hey guys, that's not too bad. We get two silver tokens as our reward. So what do I get for two tokens? Here's the rules. I should have looked at this before I shot the sailor. But still, not bad. A rifle can take out multiple targets with a single round. Let's give the rifle one a go. Three, two, one, begin. Boom. Double kill. Double kill, nice. I can move around a little bit if I want to. Boom. Thanks, man. Oh, I missed that one. No. Reload, reload. Go, go, go. Oh, we've got lots of sailors this time. There you go. Did you see how I timed that, guys? Come on, that was good, right? Gotta get this one. Oh no. Nice! Look at that! Bonus time! Okay, what's happening? Ooh. Nice! Look at this, guys! It's doing so well! Oh, there's one up there. What did I get for that? S rank? Yeah, look at that, an S rank. Sweet. I'm speechless. Oh man, we made him proud. Listen to how happy the merchant is. Targets don't just stick around forever. Let's do this final one. Three, two, I'm excited for one, it. 
Oh, hello. Oh no. Okay, this is much harder. This is much harder. Wow. Can I, uh... Yeah, I can change to the rifle as well. Okay, that's good. Oh, we need to we need to switch back to the to this one. Ah, oh, no, I didn't have time to, to reload, guys. Before I didn't want to shoot with a rifle because it would have hit the sailor as well. Never mind. All right, here we go. No. I know, man. I know. Never mind. I'm not doing too well here, guys. Right, we're going to have to switch back. So we can shoot this guy without hitting the sailors. Okay, I think I probably got an A or a B for that one. A B, yeah. I'll take it. We got a silver token. That was a lot harder because you have to switch between two weapons. But there we go, guys. And I'll read this note as well now. Target practice rules. Destroy the pirates and shoot for high score. I wish I'd read this first. We don't need to read this now. Oh, but maybe we do, actually. Prizes. Exchange your tokens for charms at a token machine. They're full of treasure that can be found nowhere else. So where is the token machine? Is that here somewhere? Or oh, here. So now we can use our tokens. Here we go. You can use three silver tokens or gold tokens at the token machine to win a random charm. The more gold tokens you use, the greater the chances of getting a rare charm. Okay. So let's put these two in and a gold one. Go on, give us something good. Ooh. Charms. Charms can be swapped out via the customized case menu at any typewriter. Oh, so they're just like cosmetics. Oh. 40% health recovery for vipers though. So if we use this, we get 40% health recovery if we get bit by a snake. Okay. That's cool. Right, now let's just stick, I guess, three of these in. See what this gives us. 20% rifle ammo craft bonus frequency. Oh, nice. Okay, let's see if we can add these charms. So, customize case. We'll put this on the center. Left. And the right, there we go. Very nice. Got our charms on our case. That might interest you. Look, there's actually some there are enough weapons here to get a party additional going. weapons here as well. We've got like a rocket launcher. Very nice. Well, for now, I'm going to leave him. We're going to continue with our adventure. This thing over here as well. Oh, a hexagon piece. Don't know where we need that for. Oh, look at that castle in the background. Let's take a look at it with our binoculars. Oh, there's the boat. What are they doing? Dumping a body. Ooh. Oh, it's the policeman. No. Fuck. That's our backup. And off they go. They're feeding the beasts. No. That's the creature. All right. Well, we're going to have to uh, find a way across the lake, I think. Looks like there's something over there. Yeah, that's probably where we get the boat from. And we've got to kind of cross the lake, apparently. Get over to here in one piece. All right. Let's give it a go. The boat fuel is stored with the generator fuel inside the processing building at the fish farm. Take only what you need. Okay. So we need to fuel up the boat. Go to the fish farm. Got it. So now we want to get to this boat. And I'm guessing we need to fuel it. Yeah, it's empty. Come on. Fill the tank when you're done. Oh, there's one of those things that we need. The charms. 
forgot about those for medallions. We need to shoot another four of them. What's this? Oh, this is for the hexagon piece. We need, I think, two more pieces. I have no idea where it wants us to go for those. This looks promising. Oh my god, this area is huge! Okay, oh my god! Wow. We've fallen in the... in the god slot. He's gonna want to shower after that. Okay, let's just sneak a bit. Oh no, it's one of these guys! Are you kidding me? Screw you, man. Have some of that. Yeah, and now... Some of that. Boom. Okay. Run. That was close. Get him. <laughs> oh, I think she threw the axe into her friend. That's nuts. There's so many of them. There's so many. You know what? Screw this. Boom. That's how you do it. Sorry. Must have slipped. You're not sorry, Leon. Don't apologize to me. Alright, we're gonna have to go around here, I think. Work our way through this place. Oh, there's another one of those little medallions. Three of five. Ah, uh, we need our rifle. Right back at you, man. So satisfying shooting these things with a rifle. The rifle shoots through two targets at once, apparently. Yeah, guys, they just keep coming. I'm going to try and drop down here. And we're going to make our way through this building at the other side. Okay, we made it to the other side. We're in. Uh, we've got the chicken egg as well. Nice. But what we want is fuel for the boats, which I think I can just see there. Alright, she's down. Let's take the fuel. Boat fuel, nice. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're telling me, Leon. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's get back to that boat. Right, I'm, I'm glad to see the back of this place. Because I'm pretty sure, as I said before, the enemies just keep spawning in. And I don't want to hang around any longer than I need to. I don't think we got all the medallions is the only issue, but you know what? It's fine. For now, I'm just going to run away. Like the coward that I am. We're now able to juice up the boat. Let's go and deposit the fuel. There we go. Use only what we need, Leon, remember? Just like the note told us. Hopefully we don't have to keep track of the fuel now. It's just always completely fueled. Nice. Oh no, not so nice. Not so good. You don't want to break down in the middle of a lake when that thing's under the water. It's showing up. It thinks it's dinner time. And it kind of is, I guess. Oh no. It's, I hate stuff that lives under the water. I hate sharks and stuff, man. No, we're snagged on it. Please say we don't have to fall out of the water. Oh, L1, R1? Oh, we have to harpoon it. Nice. This is cool. It's like uh, Moby Dick or something. Not that I would condone whaling. You know, that's kind of a uh, horrible practice, but... Still, we have to move left and right out of the way of rubble. 
Oh, he's gone under the water now. Oh, okay. Wow, that was close. That was very close. We just managed to get him in the in the mouth, though. He's got endless harpoons on this boat, Leon. Come on. Where you at? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. He's there. We got him. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? He might be trying. No. Into the mouth. Into the mouth. I think that was a job well done for now. We're still snagged onto the thing, man. Ah. Okay, we've got to move out away the trees and stuff. Where's he at? There. It's a giant salamander looking thing. Oh, like a newt or something. Ugh. Take it. Take the harpoons. He's bleeding out right at this point. Oh, that was very close. That's the hardest one to get right when it comes out with water for you. You know, and you've got a second to get it in the mouth. Otherwise, it, it swallows you. I keep missing him. He's diving into the water. Where's it at? Oh, he's there. No. Man, I keep missing him. This is terrible. This is going really badly. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, you big brute? This way. Oh, no. And again. And again. No. I don't think I hit him enough that time. Oh, holy moly. He's really getting angry now. He's getting agitated because we've been sticking him with all these things. Yeah, he's a tough son of a gun. Ah. Come on, hit him. Nice. We need him to, like, snarl at us so he can hit him in the mouth again. I think that's what does the most damage. No! Ah! No, we always got capsized. Come on. Nice, we got him. Harpoon Hunter achievement. Oh. That is a big brute. Man, we took down Moby Dick. We did it. Oh, no. Oh, it's the virus, isn't it? In his blood. This isn't good. We need a... Uh, we need... We need to get, like, some kind of vaccine immediately. Some kind of serum, you know, to cure us. Well, are we just going to pass out in the middle of a lake? That was cool. That was a cool chapter. Okay, well, we're going to continue straight into the next chapter, so let's go. Sacrificial lamb, you will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. When day breaks, you too will join our covenant to share in my holy blessing forever. Is this like a vision of the future? Of like what could happen? Got his guns. I'm not even thinking about the, uh, the virus in his system. I'm thinking about those those arms. They're insane. Oh, and the boat is of course sinking. Fantastic. There's no way we want to swim that. <laughs> Especially when we don't know if there's like the daddy living in the lake, you know, we just killed the mommy one. We made it in one piece. Good job. Well, the boat is sunk. Great. We're not using that again. Condor one to roost. Do you read me? Condor one? You've been radio silent for three hours. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Won't let it happen again. And the church? I'm still looking for whatever key I need. Copy that. I'm glad you're okay. Roost out. She cares about him, doesn't she? She seems like she comes across as all cold, but really, she cares. What is this? Police hat? Yep. Nothing too remarkable. Find the key to the church. 
That's our next objective. Oh god, we're in the woods and it's night time. At least he's finally taking his flashlight out. A sneak. We want to be careful here. Because it seems like there's a whole bunch of them over here. It's a bit claustrophobic down here. I would not like this. I'm terrible with confined spaces. Oh. Oh no, what the hell is that? Okay. Um, what do I even do with that? I'm just staring in disbelief at that thing. He can actually. Okay, he can parry it. He can parry it. Man, those things are tricky. So basically, what you need to do with those is you need to parry them as they slash at you. Um. Oh, are you gonna turn as well? Yeah, of course you are. Okay, great. I need to heal, guys, because I'm on really low energy. I'm going to eat this egg. There you go. The egg gives me a little bit of health. So you parry it and then shoot it. There we are. Man, they're tough. Those, uh... I don't even know what they are. Are they like Ganados, oh, they called or something? I think they called like Ganados, right? Someone's been sacrificed on this altar. Man, there's sacrifices going on left, right, and center in this place. <laughs> Never mind. We're all done now. I thought I'd gone to a dead end then. I was like, please say I didn't do all that just to get to a dead end. But no. And finally, Leon has his flashlight out so we can actually go in a cave without what not being able to see place? two feet in front of us. Some kind of shrine. Yeah, this is like some kind of satanic shrine. Same mark from the church. So we need to put things in the hands here, it seems. One for there, one for there. And then we can get this kind of scepter out of the middle of here. Or well, this opens the front of the church, actually. This is the key for the church door. So it seems like we need two items there. the lake with a giant monster in it we just killed oh oh look we actually missed something in the lake in the middle it was like a treasure hmm. investigate the two locations what were they oh so we need to go all the way here and all the way here well actually that one's like really close to us so that's fine I guess we're going exploring them. Maybe we can get another boat. Because it'd be cool to like be able to explore on the boat, right? So the old way shrine key. Where's the old way shrine? Ooh, egg hunt. Someone fetch me a rare gold chicken egg. What will I do with it? Well, sometimes it's more fun not knowing, right? I guess, are you just gonna cook it or something? There's three of them apparently. So yeah, we do get to go back on the on the lake in a boat, which is cool. As long as there's no more sea monsters. Hey, yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so... I'm going to go and check out the treasure in the middle of the lake to start with. Man, this is so cool. Riding a boat around. Here we go, the treasure. Look at this. Alexandrite. Nice. We can sell that for a pretty penny to the merchant, I'm sure. Now, we need to figure out which way we're meant to be headed. So, can we have a look at our map? Yes. So, we need to go over to the dock here. And there's also one down here. Now, this game is so cool, like... It just goes above and beyond to be like really awesome. Like we're already driving a boat around. We've had a huge boss fight that was like really well done. Oh, and look, there's an island over here for us to investigate as well. I think I'm gonna do that. There's chickens. Come to me, chickens. 
Oh, we could get the golden eggs here, actually. Maybe we have to kill the chickens? No, the chickens don't have any eggs. Sorry. I just killed uh, the husband of one of you guys. Oh, there is a gold chicken egg. Nice. So, did we need three of those, or is that is that fine? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm just going to hope that it was just one. Okay. We're going to go now, guys. Finally, we're going to go over to the island over here. So, yeah, this is where we want to get one of those items that we need through this cave. We can dock here. I hear a rat running about. Ooh, what is this? There's got to be an order to this, right? Yeah, I have no idea how we solve this right now. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. We obviously need to know how to solve that in order to get the item we want. Ooh, okay. So we've got one of the symbols on here. The one which looks like three tally marks. Oh, there's one there as well on the wall. So, is the one over here as well? Oh, there's one there. So, there's three that we can press down. So it's three wavy lines, followed by the one that looks like a B. And then finally, the one that looks like, kind of like a fish. Let's try this. Hey, it worked. Okay, now we can get the Blasphemer's head. Lovely. Ugh, and it bleeds. Why would there be real blood in there? Probably don't want to know. Ooh. And another hexagon piece. So we've got two of the three hexagon pieces as well now, and a secret item up here. Nice little ruby for our collection. I think that's everything, so now we need to head over and get the other uh, stone piece that we need. So back on the boats, on with our adventure. Just going to have a little poke around while we're on the lake, guys, just see if there's anything else we can find that we might have missed before. Like this little cave. Might as well have a thorough explorer. Right? Man, where is this place? See, I don't know that we've been here before. Is this one of the locations we needed? It's not. It's just a secret area. So many secrets in this game. And now, look, we can use this. Use this key to get whatever this is. A splendid bangle, very nice. Oh, actually, guys, I bet what we can do is fit some gems into this. So if we select this, inlay gemstones, and then put in a ruby. Oh, we need to add, no, we can't. We need to put in like a sapphire to this one. Now that's worth 10,000 currently. If we find another uh, of those kind of gemstones to inlay, we can make it worth even more. Sweet. Hey. Oh, we got another Alexandrite. Okay, now we can fit both these in. So, inlay gemstones. There we go. And it's now worth 19,000. Holy moly. Okay, it was well worth uh, seeking out these treasures then. The merchant's going to be very happy. Let's go back to the boat. And let's continue on. We've been here. See, I don't think we've been here yet. Maybe we have. Oh, we've got a guy. We're going to want to be very sneaky here. Making some odd sounds, that's for sure. Please don't turn around. Right. Sleep tight. Ooh, another one of these. 
Let's open it up. You can use this key over and over again. What is this? A pearl bangle. Nice. How much is that worth? 12,000. I feel like uh, I'm on like one of those antique shows or something and I'm just valuing everything. It's like, oh, how much is this bangle worth now? Got a treasure over here, apparently. Oh, yeah, because I think we can use a key on this. This was locked before. Let's use this. Unlock it. Through we go. Man, this game just opens up. Can someone catch the gigantic fish that lives in the lake for me? Fish oil has so many uses after all. This photo should help you find it. We get four spinel for that. Okay. I think I've seen that actually while we've been exploring. We can try and get it. We've got another mission to catch this fish now. What the heck? Someone's tied up here. You alive? Nope. I think they're pretty dead. Yeah, definitely. The They've got that symbol on drawn on them as well. I don't feel sorry for them. Oh well. Let's go upstairs. Oh man, there's one sacrificed here. Are these just people who lived in the town? I've oh, got another small key. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the boat now, guys. I think we've pillaged enough treasure. Oh no. Oh great. No, screw you, I'm running. I am not sticking around to fight that. No way. Back to our boats. Oh no. No, 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 no. Do I have healing items? I actually do. I'm just going to eat the egg. Go, 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 go. That was close. See you later, mate. You're not getting us today. And play fetch with the uh, crazy townsfolk. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to accommodate you. All right, now we need to find that giant fish. So, where was it? The picture showed some kind of wooden complex near the water. I think it was this, actually. So we want to head over here to try and locate the fish. I see it. I see it. Oh, we can harpoon it, look. Okay, that was too far. We got it! Guys, we got it! First, well, not first try, second try. There you go, the lurker bus. I think that's what we wanted, right? We can turn that contract in now. Hello, I my friend. Something I think you like. I've got something I think you'd like Welcome. as well. I've got something new for you. Let's have a look. So first of all, I'm going to sell you the brass pocket watch. Then, the pearl bangle, you much good the gold the bar, the velvet blue, and spinel bangle. And I'll keep the ruby because we can inlay that into something else. And I think he said he wants the lurker bass and the gold chicken egg. So let's sell those. We get so much, guys. Didn't even know how much we're going to get for this. Uh, 70,000, I think. You're a real professional. Yep, I'm pretty, uh, doing pretty good right now. Elegant mask, what's that for? What's that? How have we procured these curiosities? <laughs> you don't want to know, mate. <laughs> Alright, calm down, man. Uh, let's tune up stuff then. Let's repair our knife. Easy work. Let's give ourselves a little bit more power there to that. You are, as you wish. We'll also increase the rate of fire. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> I'm gonna increase the power of the shotgun as well. And the ammo capacity of the shotgun. There you are. As you and the power of the rifle. And the reload speed of it. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. There you are. As you wish. Guys, I'm just like maxing all this stuff out. This is crazy. 
There you go, guys. I've upgraded the shotgun quite a bit. Also the pistol and even the rifle a little bit. Um, our knife is fully maxed out as well now. Good stuff, stranger. Oh, we got loads of spinel Still as well. Have some new items you might be interested in. Yeah, man. We can we get more like room birds. for the case. We could get a high-powered scope. Kill a man. They do it all. <laughs> I'm going to hold on to this stuff for now. We're not going to spend anything quite yet. Pleasant Thanks, merchants. Travels. Appreciate it. All right, back to the boats. So, guys, there we are. We've got loads of secrets on the lake, I think, because this is a playthrough series. I'm not going to try and find everything. So now what I'm going to do is try and figure out where we need to go to next. I think it's somewhere around here. Yeah, there's a dock. There should be a dock down here that we need to get on, and then we go and hunt out this last mural location. So let's find our way to the dock. I think it's actually there. Spin around. Here we go. Alright. I think I just heard a scream. Don't like the sound of that. No good. That's locked. The only way is this way. Oh no, I can hear people already. Alright. Leg shot. Melee. Nice and easy. <laughs> Just stabbing him up, man. This is brutal. Oh, what the heck? This guy's actually tough. Why am I even bothering shooting him? Alright, th these guys are actually pretty tough. So... Yeah. Oh no. You're kidding me. That was nuts. That was very lucky of me. Oh no. All the dynamite's coming out. We need some healing items. Like, stats. Wait, is he rig- Yeah, he's gonna turn into one of those things. <laughs> that guy just explodes. Ah, oh, it's so over the top. We can go that way, or we can go this way. Or we can go this way and unlock the door. A little shortcut. Man, that guy is uh, extra. Maybe we missed my shot, damn it. All right. I never missed twice. Reload animations on the guns are really cool in this game. I appreciate it, you know, a good reload animation. Oh, we've got markings on the walls again now. I want to keep note of those. It's probably going to be another one of those annoying puzzles. Oh, could we shoot that down on an enemy, maybe? Yeah, there's one there. I don't think this guy's coming for us, so I'm going to have to... Okay, I did not mean to... Shoot him there. I didn't realize he had dynamite, guys. That was really dumb of me. Please say that there's an end to these guys and I don't have to try and solve a puzzle with all these enemies. No! Oh, great. We got one of these. That's it. Burn. Burn! Okay, he's down. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. I'm pretty sure. That was very close. I blocked, like, instantly there. Oh! No! Don't turn! Don't turn, don't turn. Alright. We're going to need to use some health. We can use the eggs. <laughs> Eat the eggs. There we go. There's a guy downstairs as well. Oh, man. Are you going to turn into one of those things? No. Okay, I think that might be everyone. So, we can now try and we'll get that secret. But we can also try and solve this puzzle. So we've got one that looks like two like halves of this shape. Whatever that is. 
what else do we have? We've got one. Oh. Okay, so we've got this symbol here. And then... The first one would be... I can't even see from here. Oh, it's like... Kind of like a, a double T shape. A whale tail coming out of water. Let's have a look. See if we can solve it. So the first one is, I think, this. Then the next one, that. The final one, this. Hey, nice. We got it. And we've got the apostate's head. And again, it bleeds everywhere. Charming. All over our new shoes. We survived. I think the health is like in really short supply in this game, so probably want to be on the hunt for some more when we can find some. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the treasure. Here's some. Okay, now I'm gonna run. I'm not hanging about. I'm not fighting any more of these enemies. I'm just gonna leg it all the way back to the boat. Through here. Into the boat. And we're getting out of here. <sighs> okay, nice. Where do we need to head to? Let's have a look on our map. Straight down here and around the corner. Easy. I think it's here, actually. Ah, well, what a lovely jaunt on the river. We need to put the two heads in the two hands. Is this the key? Yeah, it is, Leon. But we need to put the heads in here. Does that fit? It does. But we have a head in here. Hey, we got the church insignia. Condor Wonder Roost. I found the key to the church. Copy that. Now go get Baby Eagle. Right. No time to chat. I'm going in. Condor One out. Condor One out. Head for the church. So we need to check our map again. The church is up river. We can take river all the way back there. Let's do it. I still haven't found the other like insignia piece. But never mind. Okay, I think we want to be back this way, guys. Now, there's the hexagon puzzle here. I'm still missing a hexagon piece for this. I want to try and find this before we go back. Because we need one more piece to solve the puzzle. Oh, here we go, guys. I was looking for the hexagon piece. It's in the fishing village. And another medallion. Four or five. We're only missing one now. I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to be able to find that last one. But what I will do is now go back and try and solve the hexagon puzzle because we have all the pieces that we need. Okay, now we just need to put in the final piece and solve this thing. So rotate. Oh, it's got a sea creature in the middle. I see. Um, let's rotate that again and again. We want, I'm guessing that to be at the top. I think we've got it. Yes! Oh my god, that took ages. I was just spinning it for ages. We got a depraved idol. Nice. There we go. So we solved another puzzle, guys. I don't think that's even related to the story, but hey, I got it in the video for you guys. Let's go back to the church now. I've done all that I want to do here. Okay, here we go. Back through the area with the giant sleeping... Oh, maybe you're not so sleeping now. The troll, I was going to say. What is that thing? Like a summoner or something. Oh no. The troll, it woke up. No. That's a big boy as well. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Just shoot it? 
defeat the giant. Wait, can we shoot his legs out? How do I avoid that, man? There's literally no way I could have avoided that. Okay, it's get a growth's coming out of his back. You got worms too? No time for jokes, Leon. We shot the thing in its back, okay? Oh, the wolf came! The wolf came to help us! Yes! Sick him, boy! It's that dog. Oh no. Do I think we can get the dog to, to like attack the growth? Just gotta get the growth to show again. No! Start Don't hurt the dog! It. Leave him alone, you freak! Yes! Oh, we got his ankle! Nice! Get him, boy! Get that freaky thing! Kill the troll! Oh no, the thing's coming out his back again. Oh no! Oh, I, I don't know why I said oh no. That's it's good. good boy. Shoot this thing. Alright, so um, so far so good. We're tripping at that troll. Let's shoot the thing in its back. Come on, stay still for a second. Oh no, he's going to chuck an actual house. He's actually chucking houses now. Come on, aim's true, Leon. No, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna use a pistol. It's pretty easy to hit the thing. Ah! Yeah, that's right, you didn't get anything that time. You came up empty-handed. There you go, shoot the thing on its back. Melee it. Nice, Leon, cut the thing. Yes! This is cool. Just teaching it. He's boss. We need the dog to help us again. Freaky thing. How many times does it need to be shot? I'm actually running out of ammo. Wow. I need to use some kind of healing. This? We're in business, guys. Just want to reload. And now shoot this little thing on its back. Ooh! <laughs> the killing blow, the killing shot. Okay. That was over sooner than I expected. God. Screw you. That was almost a pancake. Damn troll. Alright. Got a yellow diamond. Okay. Where's our dog? Let's get to that church. Where are you, boy? Oh, here he is. Hey, Thanks, thank buddy. you. Good dog. I would pet you, but you're pretty wild and would bite, but I still appreciate you. One thing I do want to check, where the troll came out of, I'm wondering if there's like some stuff there. Yeah, look at this. Rearing log, six months. Its teeth have only just come through, but it shoves everything within reach into its mouth. It can't walk yet, but it swallowed a dog whole. Nine months. It already towers above me, but it keeps growing. The town hall can no longer contain it. 10 months. It keeps growing even after moving to the quarry. It can devour a whole cow in 3 days. 13 months. It can swing our largest pickaxe as if it were only a twig. One of the men in the village was almost eaten today too. It's not getting enough food. 17 months. There were only a few cows left now. At this rate, the whole village will starve. We summoned help from a castle and had them put the beast to sleep with an incantation. Hopefully, it won't wake for a long time. Well, it just did and we sorted it out. So there we go, guys. And look at all the stuff they've been throwing in here to feed it. It didn't have a lot of space, to be uh, honest. I can see why it was getting angry being stuck in here. <coughs> there we go, guys. We got the last blue last medallion one. in this area as well. It was just up there hanging. Okay, here we go. The church. Time to put in the inlay and complete this episode of our playthrough works. Awesome. Let's see what's behind these doors. Oh, it's kind of nice in here actually. Ashley Graham. 
I'm here to help. Bolts. Don't have a bolt gun yet. Look for Ashley in the church. Okay. Let's see what they were reading from here. Nothing. It's a big lever. Oh, we got a puzzle. Are you kidding me? I've got to solve another puzzle now to find Ashley? Let's give it a go. Rotate. Oh, we're trying to... Okay, we're trying to make the pattern. I get it. If we look at the middle point, guys, you can see we just need to line up the middle point on each one. So, always look for that middle point and then you can easily do it. That kind of looks right to me, but maybe it isn't. Do we need to find a third one? There's a key here. Maybe we should take a look around because I think I lined the other two up right. Submachine gun ammo? I haven't got one of those yet. Ooh, a blue dial. Yeah, this is what we needed. I wonder if a merchant has the submachine gun for me to buy now. He might well do. So yeah, I think we can actually look at putting the blue dial on here. Yeah, now we can fully turn it. That makes a lot more sense. So we just need to line up the final one now. And there we go. Door open. Easy. Right, let's go and save the president's daughter. Hopefully Ashley's still alive. She hasn't been, like, sacrificed herself. Ashley, you in there? No reply. Ashley. Ashley Graham, are you in here? <laughs> oh, she's trying to get us. Listen. Feisty. Easy with that. My name's Leon. I'm here in the president's quarters and... To be fair, she probably has no idea who we are or what's going on. That one will. Hey, it's dangerous outside. You need to listen to me. What is that? Over there? Oh no. Pursue them. We don't want salvation from you, you freak. Oh man, we've got another battle on our hands. We've got a huge battle coming up, guys, in the next episode. That's what's going to kick off the next episode. We've done two chapters, as I promised, per video. There were long chapters for this video. I've been recording for around two hours. I'll probably cut the video down a lot shorter than that. But still, this has been really amazing. We had two epic boss fights in this video. We also got to take the boat out on the lake, did some treasure hunting, uh, did the merchant's fun little mini game, and of course made a new friend with that wolf who uh, aided us in battle. So it's been a pretty good episode. And we've also, of course, finally saved Ashley, the president's daughter. It's going to be up to us to get her out of this sticky situation in the next episode. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this playthrough so far. And if you have, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you all for part three of Resident Evil 4 Remake very soon.